So hello and welcome back to the channel once again. You join me on day one of a two day trip. One night, two days. I'm at St Albans Head today in Dorset. You probably can't see the scale of it in the video, but it's probably one of the most remote and probably one of the most dangerous marks to get to. But I'm here for tonight. I'm fishing up until about midnight and then camping out, going back to the van, getting my camping equipment and my camera equipment and I will be camping out somewhere around here, haven't quite decided yet. It's actually a meteor shower tonight, as well as that, it's also the first night or it might be the second night where you actually get a bit of complete darkness. So during July and June you actually don't see complete darkness, it's what, what they call I think astronomical twilight or nautical twilight, I forget which one. But basically it means that there's always a bit of light on the horizon, so taking pictures of the Milky Way, I mean you can still capture it, don't get me wrong, but you get a much better picture when there's obviously less light. So with any luck, I should be capturing the Milky Way tonight and hopefully some meteors as well. Definitely not the sort of mark you want to be fishing on your own, put it that way. I managed to fall over and slice my hand open. It's not too bad though. I think I'll survive. But yeah, kind of half decent little spot down here, out of the way of the waves. And round here is easy access down to the water. But also, it is a bit of a coat, so with any luck, in the centre, it might be a bit cleaner. I mean, it is a rough ground spot, very much a go big or go home. So it's going to be big baits, big hooks, big baits, rotten bottoms, hopefully big bass. So I've got both rods out now. Big squid baits, probably 40, 50, maybe 60 yards out. Sun's just going down. Got my camera set up over here with a time lapse. Yeah, it's quite scary how deep it is. I think I counted to, well to over 20 seconds until the lead hit the bottom. Uh, so I, I mean, I guess it's got to be over 20 meters. I would have thought. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it might be time to test out the new chest mount and light because my right rod has just arched over. There's definitely something on it. I think it might be an eel. I think there's something on there, but I'm also snagged. So I'm going to keep tension in the line and hope for the best. Oh, after all that, snagged up. Managed to pull out the snag, but in the process, must have hooked onto my other line, which was also caught in a snag. So that when I eventually broke free, pulled my other rod off the stand and lost the rig on that one as well. Sorry, lost the lead. So <laughs> having a bit of a mare, to be honest. Tide is absolutely ripping now. I don't know if you can see this.
Ah, snagged again. Well, it has been absolutely shocking down here. Not a single fish. But, on the plus side, the Milky Way's out, and I've seen about five or six shooting stars. So it's not wasted, it's actually quite peaceful down here. Might have to put the camera away in a minute because there are a few obstacles between me and the top of the cliff. And it's from this point it gets a bit tricky. Oh. Oh god. Wee. Oh, made it. Got a whole bunch of myself. Pretty nice. So about two hours in now. Uh, two hours, three hours even. It's been very quiet. Did just have a little, little tap on the left rod, so I'll bring that in in a minute. But I was just sat here thinking, oh, what a lovely day. Clear blue skies, almost. A few clouds in the sky. And then I got up after about an hour of sat in the shelter, chilling, and. Yeah. Not looking too great behind me. It's supposed to be clear today, but the clouds tell me otherwise. Well, this definitely wasn't forecast. I don't think the guys to my left were expecting rain. One of them's in shorts and short sleeve shirt, no beach shelter. The guy next to him's got a coat on. He's kind of <laughs> tucked up in a ball with his hood up. I'm not enjoying life right now. Whereas me, on the other hand, quite cosy in here actually. Hooded up now, nice and warm. Listening to the sound of the rain on the shelter. Yeah, I'm not 100%, but I just looked to my left and I could see a black line moving towards me in the sea. Not sure if it's a massive shoal of fish or what, but it's moving. I don't know if you can see it on camera moving from my left to right yeah they are small fish you can see them washed up on the beach that's crazy there is there must be millions of them that sums up my day Oh. What a mess. Wow, I've been out for 24 hours now. And I've been fishing here for 12 hours. I deserve a big fish. Big ray, big blonde ray would be nice. I've had a few strap congas. Uh, apart from the mackerel, I think that's it. It's been absolutely shocking.
nice, nice chunky bass. That was on a whole mackerel. Absolutely demolished it. <laughs> oh, about 20 yards out. Got buzzing. I can't even remember what I was doing. I was doing something and all of a sudden the rod landed on my head. Anyone that says fishing is relaxing, come and spend an evening at Chesil. It's been absolutely crazy. Just bite after bite after bite, but unfortunately, although the last one I was convinced was a ray, it was actually a eight pound conger eel. Probably last cast now, because I'm starving, and it's about midnight, I think that's probably it now. See how these ones go, but I've got a bait in close still, and two further out, all with fresh mackerel. So we'll see how these goes, but if not, that's probably it. I am actually, I've decided I'm gonna stay out in the van again tonight, just because, I fished a bit later than expected. I don't really want to wake all the neighbours up driving back in my noisy van in the early hours of the morning. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.